The Belize Coast Guard and the University of Belize today signed a memorandum of understanding that will see Coast Guard officers receive scholarships to study at the university. I want to give full credit to Rear Admiral Bennett, uh, the Commandant of the Coast Guard, and the President of the University of Belize, Dr. Palacio. Um, they have really come together to make this possible. Um, we, of course, you know, have encouraged them and supported them along the way. Um, but they did the work of getting the MOU prepared and ready. Um, and we thought it was extremely important, extremely important, because it, it serves both the needs of our national university and the Belize Coast Guard. The Belize Coast Guard has a, a need for human capital development, uh, meaning training and education of their officers, their sailors. And the University of Belize, of course, has a marine science program that they're trying to develop fully. Minister of Education Francis Fonseca met with the first scholarship recipient, Lieutenant Juan Bolom, following today's ceremony. Commandant of the Belize Coast Guard Rear Admiral Elton Bennett spoke with us about the vision behind the MOU. My intent here is to bring the Coast Guard up to the level where we can provide the necessary support to country. Our responsibility in nation building goes well beyond operations. We must have the, the, the capabilities in-house uh, to contribute towards scientific research, um, to be able to, to contribute towards large-scale um, infrastructure development along our coast. Um, so what we're doing here is really improving the level of education within the Coast Guard so that in the future um, the Belize Coast Guard can do more towards supporting those different sectors, supporting the tourism sector and, and supporting um, the, the environment as a matter of fact because we would have had the expertise in doing so. At this current stage in our development we are, we are very operational. Um, we are focused more on, on those enforcement and tactical operations to support maritime security but we have the potential to do more. President of the University of Belize, Vincent Palacio, shared numerous ways in which the MOU will benefit these officers. Uh, you look at this base, you look at any military organization, you see several things happening. I will speak to a couple. The health sector, we have a very dynamic <laughs> nursing program, and every military operation needs nurses, need health care providers. A second, we also, military operations need counselors and uh, people to help the mental state of the officers. We offer a very good social work program that could facilitate this. From the leadership level, we offer a master's degree in leadership. We offer an MBA in leadership so the leaders could come and participate as well. So we do a quite a bit when it talks that these people can benefit from. We have offer an engineering program. Lots of engineering takes place. I'm told that downstairs that next building is engineering. So why can't we be involved, our engineers, to help the, what they do here? Commandant Bennett says he wants his officers to see the Belize Coast Guard as an opportunity to serve their country and pursue their education. We want to ensure that whenever you join the service, you don't have a full career, spend 35 years and leave the service at the same education level that you entered. We want to ensure that we look after the individual and to give him that platform um, for him to continue to, to grow in his own capacity. Um, of course, serving the Coast Guard and so serving the broader nation. Um, but we want to ensure the Coast Guard remains attractive yeah. as a service um, for, for people at different levels to see that you can join the Coast Guard and continue your education. It's not a dead end. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.